Hello and welcome. Today we're going to check out Ancient Domains of Mystery, or Adam, as it is uh, most commonly known as. This is a classic roguelike. It's actually been around for like 23 years. It originally came out in 1994, but it is still actively developed today. There's actually two ways of, of playing this game. We're playing the free version here that you can get from the website. I'll put a link in the description for that. You can also purchase the game on Steam if you like. It just gives you a few extra options, uh, gameplay options, and uh, I think classes and races as well. Also, it supports the devs, of course. This is, a, uh, as I mentioned, a classic roguelike. You've got procedurally generated dungeons, turn-based, uh, permadeath, and uh, we're going to be a hero trying to save the world from this evil that has uh, emerged in the world. So uh, let's try this thing out and jump on in here. So if we had purchased the thing on Steam, we would have a lot more options here, but uh, roguelike mode is fine. That's the, the proper way of playing the thing. Anyway, we'll be a male. Uh, as for our race... All these have different abilities and different, uh, well, abilities. Uh, if we want to be like a, a, a some sort of caster, we probably pick like a drow or a uh, maybe a gnome. If we want to be a um, drakeling, if we want to be like a, a dwarf, we'd be like a nice hack and slash kind of guy. Drakeling, they can spit acid. Humanoid lizard-like creatures, about six feet tall, they can spit. I didn't like the sound of that. I was gonna just do some sort of like a basic fighter guy, but I okay, let's try it. Uh, as for professions or, or classes, we can choose all kinds of varieties of things. Necromancer, I really want to try, but uh, I'm, I'm not an expert at all at this game. I've only just really messed around with the bits of it. Uh, so we're going to try something that's a little more simple, like fighter. Um, hmm, farmer. Even among the most average folks, there are some valiant and larger-than-life persons who are born to achieve more than their parents and grandparents. Like me, the farmer. I like the sound of that. You were born in the month of Wand. You are a male drakeling. You are bald. You have light blue eyes and a green complexion. Your parents belong to the middle class. Average people living in average quarters. In your childhood, you were fascinated by your environment and the ever-changing wonders of the world. You were a very curious and adventurous child. During your youth, you were very lazy. You slept a lot and didn't care too much for your duties and tasks. Your parents were not very happy with you. Okay. And then at 26, I decided to be a farmer. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we get two talent points here to choose to start the game off to give us a uh, a jump start and kind of selecting what kind of person we're going to be. Um, I think we're going to go with something like mm, good looks, maybe. Uh, we could be right hardy or uh, smarter. We can be, I think strength is probably a good one or toughness is probably a very good one. There's another one down here. That one gives us more money. Um, where is it? Mm, healthy. That's the one I think I want. Heal wounds 20% faster. Strong kicker. I like the sound of that, too. Let's go with a healthy. Maybe we won't die, like, first off. Uh, my name's going to be... Nook. Actually, you know what? I'm like a kobold, aren't I? Ontin... Ontinti is my name. For 6,000 years, the world of Ancardia was a serene world, unmolested by the forces of chaos. But now, the sinister forces of evil and darkness have opened a gateway somewhere deep within the mountains of the Dracolore chain. Terrors from unknown dimensions flood the world of Ancardia and wreak havoc, spreading corruption ever faster. Now it's up to you to explore the Dracolore chain, meet its inhabitants, find the source of chaos, and defeat it, or maybe even join forces with it to conquer the world. Here we are. Here is the game. I am this lizard man farmer up here in the top right corner. There is a cave next to me here. Uh, let's go over the basic roguelike thing. So we have a character sheet. We are pretty strong. We are somewhat smart. We have a... Um, a nice willpower and dexterity. My last character I played was a fighter. I had a, a learning of four. I was so stupid I couldn't even read. So this is a nice a nice change. My deity is Isrekt. I was born on the in the fourth month. Unicorn on the 71st day of Wand. I'm not sure how that... Unicorn maybe is the... I don't know. Uh, and I'm 26 years old. I have a hood. Clothes. I have a scythe in my hand. In my hands. And sandals on my feet. As a fighter I start with like a chain shirt and sword and shield so this guy's a little bit weaker uh backpack we have a whistle in our pack we have seeds what self-respecting farmer walks out of the house without seeds and we have some gold pieces as well and uh skills we'll be using mostly first aid here uh combat we are skilled in pole arms and we have those two talents we picked up quests our quest is to find the village of Terinio to learn more about the Dracolore chain and current events. Talk to at least three important people in Terinio in order to learn more about what is going on. And uh, there I am. Blue, bald, lizard man. Okay. 
So let's go wandering around. Now there is, uh, my goal is to go to the, a town. There's a town right over here I'm supposed to go wandering into. There's a cave here, though. This cave is a nice way of sort of introducing us to the game and how the uh, the game works. What is what is going on here? I have a skeleton right next to me who's a bad guy. What is this? I have a companion dog? Really? A stalwart canine is a fiercely loyal protector. Its heavy-set body, powerful jaw, equip it well to survive on its own. Or as a servant to a more intelligent beast, which is me. Okay, I have a dog companion? Alright. Um, I can tell you to do things? Apply skill. Haggling. Huh? I can haggle with my dog? I want to, um, issue a command. I want you to attack. Look at that. The large dog does not seem to care about your order. What? I'm going to kill the goblin skeleton. Listen here, dog. Alright, so there is... Studded leather armor on the ground? Really? Well, that's lucky. Okay, so we got studded leather armor from the uh, lizard, or the skeleton. I'm going to go ahead and put that on. And I'm going to hope that it is not cursed. Because you don't really know what it is. There's just there's armor on the ground. I don't know whether it's cursed. It may be blessed. It may be terrible. It may be good. We're going to find out. It is... It's pretty good. It gives us plus one defense. It gives us minus one attack, however. I think that's what that means. Or maybe minus one speed. That's what that means, actually. But it gives us some defense, so that's not, that's okay. Actually, kind of lucky to find that right away. There is some um, clothes sitting on the floor here. I'll go ahead and pick them up. That's the wrong button. That one. Mm -hmm. What's over here? A saber. All right. I mean, I'm really kind of partial to my, my scythe here, but let's kick that door. Oh. You shatter the door with a mighty kick. By smashing it, you activate the trap. Oh. What? The, the door was booby-trapped. You are engulfed in roaring flames. The large dog growls in anger. Did I just kill my dog? You hit the large dog and... Wait. Wait. Wait a minute. No. No. Wait. <laughs> what? Why did that happen? <laughs> Oh, my dog. <laughs> All right, well, I didn't like that dog anyway. I guess the trap went off, and he thought that I did the damage to it, and so he turned off. You know what? You can't... Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we're just going to rest here for a minute and get healed up. And um, there's a way of... How is it? Where is it? Uh, this one? Where's my key binds? There is a way to extend a weight. W5. There we go. Okay, we have rested. Good. We're in good shape now. Let's go wandering on here without a dog this time. Just a, a meager farmer getting rocks thrown at his face by a goblin. Exploring the dungeon. Hoping to get... What'd you throw at me? You threw a knife at me? There we go. We did level level two. Excellent. Now we get more uh, skills to improve. I think I need to get first aid. That's going to be a very important one. Every time you click a button here, it rolls 2d4, and so you get a random amount of skills here. Alertness is probably a good one to have, and um, music? Stealth. Uh, maybe survival might be coming handy. I don't really know. Speaking of music, actually, I had a whistle is a tool. What does a whistle do? Should I use it? Well, that was very pretty. Okay. I'm going to pick up this uh, knife the guy threw at me. And uh, there's some more. There's a lot of people in here. Alright, come here. I'll fight you all one at a time. Uh, not, not that way. Wait. There you go. That one. I'm going to pick up all the stuff. Uh, gold pieces. Uh, no, leave the bad corpse. It's fine. Level 3 now. I want skills in... These are all maxed out. Um, we'll... I'll wait for first aid and let it go again. What do I need skills in? There's swimming in here. I'm good. I'm a good swimmer. I don't really need that. Maybe some stealth. Maybe some... Maybe archery. We'll throw some things, I guess. We also get another talent. Speed's a nice one to have. Uh, we do have a heavy weapon. Plus one damage. Hit and damage with heavy weapons. Or just plus one defense value. 
Hmm. Or just an affinity with certain weapons. Let's go with... The plus one defense value. I think that seems like uh, it might help us out here. Take out the bat. Take out the goblin. Uh, is there anything here other than... No, just corpse. I just picked up a corpse. All right. Uh, let's raid a second and get healed up. Oh, there's a goblin there with a whip. Take that. I want your whip. Okay, there's our downstairs. Um, let's kick open that door. Kick it again. Kick it again. There we go. I'm a little scared about doors now. Dog killing doors. Even though it may not have been the dog that killed the door. Or a door that killed the dog. Uh, let's go ahead and rest for a minute and get healed up. Well. There we go. Let's, um, rest a bit longer. Interrupted by what? I'm getting hungry. Is that what's going on? Okay, here he comes. Okay, we got him taken out. We're gonna rest. Stop coming, people. There we go. Oh, what'd you drop? Clothes and a cobalt corpse. I don't care about your clothes. Let's go ahead and go downstairs. That's the wrong one. All right. So... Again, we can do zero. I don't know if you saw that up there in the corner. You can do zero, and you can ex automatically explore the place. Uh, next up, I'm going to put points into first aid to max that out. I will do... I don't know if climbing will ever come in, but we'll do climbing and... Literacy. I think it has to be a 10 in order to be able to read. We'll come across scrolls and things along the way, and it'd be nice to know how to read things in case that happens. Okay. We level four now. You know what? I, let's um, let's go back. We don't have to complete this place. Let's just get out of here and go finish our quest. The quest is to go to that town. So let's do that. We got some levels now. I'm confident we won't die immediately. We just destroyed that guy. And let's get out of here. What? Why am I changing position with the guy? Why can't I just kill the guy? Come here. Where are you going? What can I kill you? Kick him. Why? Why? Why do I not? Why would I not want to kick the orc? Is he apply? Chat with monster. Seen to hearth. What? We're friends. Beauty won't help you survive. Strength and toughness will. Something like this must have crossed Grumsh's mind when he created the race called orcs. Uh, okay. So, Kara, you've killed four orcs. But why not this one? Why is he a friendly guy? <laughs> no, I don't know. Oh, whatever. Let's eat some um, pieces of meat. We can eat that corpse we're carrying on us, but we're not going to do that. I don't want to get sick. All right, let's get out of this place. Okay, so now our goal is to go, our quest is to go find that village of Torino and learn more about the, tra the Dracolor chain. Let's go do that and talk to some people. So let's walk over here and chat. So, welcome to the village. We gotta find some people. Oh, we completed a quest. I uh, like this guy. Bloop. The baby water dragon squeaks. Mummy. We have a new quest. We have a new quest to venture to the Western Dracolor chain and enter the caves of chaos to locate the source of evil. That's what that. That's what that means. <laughs> okay. No, don't attack the baby dragon. Let's go see if we can find some folks around here. We do have a shop down here. We can come in and buy stuff if we want to. Um, but there's gonna be some folks are walking around here. You can see the ones that have stars above their head are important people. Uh, no, don't walk in the water. So we're gonna go walk up to this guy. We're gonna chat with him. Uh, Ghoul Athak the Druid. Recently we've been plagued by attacks of an evil sorcerer. He once was a brother of mine, but now has fallen for the dark powers. He is a black druid, corrupting the powers of nature and twisting them to suit his darker needs. Um, asked me to vanquish the Black Druid in the dungeon southeast of Torino. So travel there and kill that guy. Okay. We need, what, one more important person to talk to? Here's one. Who are you? Listen, Cranach, the raider, is roaming the countryside. He's a nasty raider out on pillage. Slay him, and you'll receive a nice reward. Aye, lad, abide by the laws, and us'll be friends. Okay, there we go. We got our three things done. We now need to go... Our journey is to go find the source of evil, right? But uh, while we're out there, we can go find a raider lord to kill. We can go to the southeast to go to this place. Let's go to that one. 
Um, actually, before we do that, let's go and... No, we can hit zero and ex automatically explore things. Uh, no, no, don't attack him. Who is this guy? Life is hard these days. Monsters, wars, dangers abound. The village elder. All right. Let's go to that shop over here and see if he has anything to sell for us. Uh, looks like you just have rations, which, you know what? I'll take some rations. Yeah, they're very nice. Um, I want to purchase them. How much do they cost? They cost 26. I will purchase them all at once. There we go. We got some more rations now. Okay, let's leave. So somewhere to the southeast is a a village or a, a cave we have to go find. There it is. So right here is the sinister cave entry. All right, let's go inside. So we're here without our trusty dog. Times are tough. Level four. We probably should be a lot higher level with this. There's a key on the ground. Pick it up. There's a rat over there. I'm. I feel like we could probably kill a rat. There we go. And there is a club on the ground. I'm going to pick that club up. I never actually saw him. Oh, can I sell the shopkeep? I probably could have sold to him. This room seems incredibly ancient. Okay. He's throwing rocks at me. None of that. None of that, rat. There's a necklace on the ground here. A glass amulet is what that is, actually. Pick that up. Now, can I wear that? Is it going to be cursed? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. It doesn't actually, it's not giving me a stat. Which I'm a little concerned about. Normally when you pick things up, it just automatically gives you a stat. This one did not. Hello? Tinkerbell? Ooh, she was rich. 265 gold pieces. Well, okay. Now, by, by traveling here, we have... We ventured to the dungeon southeast. Is that, this is the one, right? I hope so. Maybe not. Uh, we go downstairs further. We can explore a little bit more. Let's go see what's on down this way. There's a rat over there. We will kill that. Our skill in pole arms has increased. Excellent. Kick that door. We don't open doors. We kick them off. I should have picked up that skill in kicking. There we go. Oh, nothing over here. All right. Back to... Uh, I'm getting a bit hungry. Let's go ahead and eat. Um... A, uh, let's just eat some of that just dry meat. It's fine. That guy's throwing rocks at me. We'll take this guy down. This is not as, as scary as I thought it was going to be. That's not an idea is to go charging it, but that's we're fine. Level 5 we are now. Let's put points into... I don't know when we use... Some of these things I've never come across. I don't know when we use cooking or fletchery. I'm assuming we can make arrows. Uh, haggling. Uh, obviously we can go to people and maybe get better deals. Herbalism, listening. I know what literacy does. Music. I don't know. Smithing, make weapons. Sure. Um, alertness and first aid. I know they're the important ones. And those are already maxed out. Well, I guess we can max it all the way out. And uh, sure, food preservation. Let's get this guy. We got him. There is a heap of five bones. Pick him up. And there's a corpse lying on the ground there. Kick that. Uh, oh, we have a key. Nah, we don't do keys. Okay, it does not budge. Let's use the key. Let's use the key. That one. It fits. There we go. Take that. What are you? You look a little more scary. You are a... Oh, you know what I haven't done yet? I haven't spit yet. A giant centipede. Special ability. Yeah, that way. Giant centipede. You spit a glob of acid. The giant centipede is hit by the acidic glob. It melts away. Oh, oh, that's really good. We should spit more. Ouch, you run into a wall. That certainly looks like something, doesn't it? We can do like a... Oh, there it is. We can do like a, like a search for secret doors, which we just did. Uh, but we found a place we've already been to. Let me go look. Who is this guy? A swordsman. He seems a lot tougher. Well, let's spit on him. Uh, can I not? He's hit by the glob. He decides to fight to the death, death in a blind rage. So something I haven't shown off is we can switch over our... Where is it? Is it here? No, it's F, the F keys. 
we can go into like berserker mode where we do a lot more chances to hit a lot more damage but we're a lot more likely to get hit or we can go all the way back down to coward mode where we will most likely not get hit and we move a lot faster but we don't really do any damage i'm going into berserker mode also which is probably bad he's probably gonna kill me in one swing isn't he no we got him we got him excellent okay back into normal mode he didn't drop anything let's wait here and get some rest uh what is this thing this is a black hearthling. That's what that orc was looking for. What? Don't throw things at me. Here we go. Let's rest. Keep, uh, we're hungry. Let's eat. Um, let's eat our large ration. Okay. Tastes good. We got some sort of beetle coming at us now. Lots of things are coming at us. I just want to rest for a bit. Ooh, a bow. I will take a bow. Give me... Is there no arrows on the ground? Tiny coral. You have a bow, but no arrows? That doesn't make any sense. I'm going to close the door. I'm going to close this door. I'm going to rest, rest here. Ow! Stop opening doors! I just want to heal myself. What's laying there? A wooden stick and one arrow. Well, in our inventory, we can put a missile weapon, we can put a short bow in there, and the missiles, we can put the arrow in. So that, that gives us the ability to shoot things, I guess. Uh, no, no, no. Let's go this way. Well, let's see if we can rest a little bit longer. So I used to have a dog once. A blink dog. Yeah. He didn't do a lot of blinking. Okay. Almost healed. We can also pray to our deity if we want to. We'll do that in a second. What do we have here? Oh, look at that. He had... Iron rations. So, um... Let's show off praying just a second. So, if we get in trouble, we can always do some praying. And, uh, she may help us out. She may or may not help us out, actually. If she... Whoops. If she does help us out, usually it's helpful, but it... Well, obviously, if she helps us out, it's helpful. What am I saying? Um... Oh, my. Now would be a time to, uh... To run. Down here. Is that a gelatinous cube? Gelatinous cube. Fight them one at a time. Okay. Touching the gelatinous cube paralyzes you. Ugh. Oh, that hurts a lot. Uh, can I pray? So I'm going to pray to end the bleeding. I pray to Isrect. I healed by a silvery light surrounding you. Thank you, Isrect. I can't pray a lot. If I pray too much, she'll get very angry. We're going to kill that guy. We're going to kill that guy. Okay. We're all good. Take that guy down. Another gelatinous cube is going to paralyze me probably. There we go. I am level six now. I can carry twice as much as others of your strength. Really? Okay. That's all right. I want, um... Um, I don't know. I'm going to put points in the literacy, because I think that helps with... Well, we'll go put some in woodcraft and literacy, so I can read spells if I, if I need to. And herbalism. Sure. I have another one? No. Uh, one talent. Plus three hit points. That doesn't seem like much. When wielding a shield, no. Super stealthy. Uh, how about an affinity to two-handed weapons? Mm. Plus one to hit in melee. Oh, here we go. Basher. Plus one to hit with damage with heavy weapons. I have a heavy weapon. Okay. Yeah, that works. Okay, so let's go... Where was the downstairs? There it is. Let's go downstairs and see what we can find here. What is that? A white worm. We're going to go. There's two white worms. We're going to spit on them. Spit on that one. Got him. Got him. Okay. Going down. Uh, there's something sitting here. Let's kill that guy. Another downstairs, there is a scroll. Reads, Chutzpa. Pick it up. Now, we can try to read this thing. You sense the presence of five monsters. Oh, it gives me some sort of danger sense. All right. Um, let me eat some... Uh, sure, we'll eat that, I guess. Yuck. Bland rations. Okay, that's cool. I actually never had a, a scroll actually do anything for me. <laughs> 
Uh, so go in here. Maybe we'll find a secret. Yes, we will. Kick that door open. Kick it. There we go. And it goes nowhere. All right. Well, this is Adam. Thanks again for watching. Again, you can pick this one up. I'll put both links in the description. You can put I'll put a Steam link and the uh, the the website where you can download it for free. And uh, you can try this thing out. It is uh, it's a roguelike. It's it's a very popular roguelike. It has been around for a very long time, and it's very well developed. But again, thanks for watching, and I will see you. Oh wait, you know what we need to do? Before we go, before we go, I'm going to pray. And my prayers remain unheard. Let's pray again. I'm going to see what happens. I haven't tried this before, but I guess praying a lot makes her angry. For some seconds, the ground rumbles. Pray again. A voice in your head roars, Mortal, ye art a nuisance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.